Welcome to the ABB South Africa DRAS training classroom. Over the next few weeks we will be releasing videos on how to use your ABB ACS 880 VSD. Today's lesson will be about the control panel that is situated on the ACS 880 VSD. The control panel is divided into two sections, the screen portion over here and the keypad portion over here. If we look at the screen, top line over here is the status line. It indicates to me local or remote mode that the VSD is in. It shows me the name of the VSD as well as the current speed reference. Then I have three lines, which is actual values that I can select and uh, this, uh, it will display to me in this point in time actual motor speed, actual motor current as well as output voltage or motor voltage. In a later video I will show you how to change these to any actual value that you want to display on a screen. Then I've got the options directory and the menu directory. I will go into that a little bit later. On the keypad portion over here you've got these two selection keys for options and menu. Also I've got direction keys or maneuverable keys where I can go up and down or scroll left and right uh, with these keys. I've got the start button. If I'm local control I can start the mo uh, motor with this button and stop button to stop the motor. Local remote button changes the VSD into remote mode where your PLC or outputs will or, or inputs rather would um, control your VSD. Then I've got this little USB um, symbol over here. This is where I connect a USB cable to a laptop and I can use Drive Composer on the VSD. Okay to get back to options and menu directory I want to go into options, I press the associated button below it and options will now come up. I've got reference, direction chain, select of drive, edit home view and I can scroll down with up and down buttons to whichever uh, menu I want to go to. If I want to go into select drive, I've got the side arrow there, so I've got a choice. I could either use the side arrow button and go into select drive, or I can use select button. And I select it, I can select which drive I want to talk to, and select it, or I can press cancel and go out. If I want to go to the main screen, press exit. If I want to go to menu directory, I press the menu button and it changes to parameters and I can scroll up and down to assistant, energy efficiency, events logger, history graph, backups, system info, settings and then to the top again. If I want to go into parameters, again you see the side arrow over there, I can use the side arrow direction key and go in. Or I can just use the select button over here and say I want to go to complete list or favorites or whatever you want to go into. One other thing that I want to show you is this little green button over here. This is the status of the VSD currently. If it is green like this, it's all good to go. It can run, no problems. If I have an alarm, that alarm uh, uh, light, this light will flash green. If I've got a fault, a trip for instance, that I've created now, it will turn into red and it will show me over here what the fault is. I can press this little question mark over here and it will give me some more information about what the fault is. That is, uh, that is it, that is today's lesson.